Happy Midweek Wednesday to all of my Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's go. We are officially in the first quarter moon phase of this cycle. We had a new moon on December 12th, and this video is for the 20th of um, December, and we had a first quarter uh, moon phase that kicked off on the 19th, so... Yeah, your words are powerful. One and one and nine is ten. Ten is the number for instant manifestation. So words, thoughts, and deeds, very, very powerful. It's best for you to keep if you know what your purpose is in life is and when your thoughts start going to something negative, get right back into your purpose. If you know what it is, if you don't, it's a great time to increase your prayer life and say, Okay, source help me with why I'm here on this planet Earth. All this madness going around, I need to stay locked in and laser focused. So I'm not giving words, thoughts, and deeds to anything that would distract me from why I'm here to help better mankind. Let's get it, Pisces. I'm talking to you if you're Pisces anywhere in your birth chart. The moon is moving from your sign, Pisces, into Aries. You already have the question for the moon in uh, Pisces. So I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Aries. Ready? Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see what your cards have to say. Let's go. All right, Pisces, 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 Pisces. I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere possibly in your birth chart. I feel like there could be, a, somebody could feel like this is an uphill climb or battle just to stop thinking about an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Um, and just thinking about, you know, like I said, something has just definitely been keeping you imprisoned in your mind to keep overthinking something, Right. Something possibly in your family. Here we have the Ten of Coins. We also have the Eight of Coins. We also have the Moon card and also the Empress card, right? So um, somebody could be having thoughts about something in their past, or you could have you could have uh, air air in your birth chart. Like you could have you could have Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra in your birth chart. And right now, something has just been an uphill battle or climb for you to stop overthinking, whether it's your mom or your kids, adult kids to be exact, or a mom, or you like how nurturing type of energy. Like, <clears throat> I'm not going to keep overthinking, nurture, uh, I'm not going to keep nurturing energies where I feel like it's drying up my creativity. It's causing me to be spiritually dehydrated. I'm going to stop overthinking something and I need to physically get moving forward. I feel like some kind of rite of passage or transition is happening here with you all Pisces. We also have the 10 of coins and also the eight of coins. Something having to do with family. You're going through a, um, you're going through a, uh, like leaving family secrets behind, leaving a bunch of stuff behind. Um, you're learning how to detach from it, to eat, to live out a more peaceful life, a more peaceful existence, right? And so sources say you're thinking about your legacy. You got a lot of information coming in. You have to be the person to filter it, though, because if, if you're not using, if you're not tapped into that air part of your um that air part of your your universe, meaning the air in you, like maybe your moon is in Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Venus, or maybe Mars is in, you know, that type of energy. So it's saying you're going to have to cut out the overthinking as it relates to family secrets and and learning how to detach in order to be live a much, much more peaceful um, existence. So yeah, I feel like something from your past that's been overwhelming for you as far as family is concerned has and family is not just blood relatives so we're crystal clear it could be church family it could be an organization that you belong to it may be a job family something that caused overwhelm for you um in terms of possibly secrets things maybe you may know about or other people may know about you or whatever it is i see you moving on from that that's what i'm saying it's just been an uphill climb and a battle i'm telling you a lot of things moving forward in order for us to move into 2024 is definitely is it's a year of wealth right but it's not just financial everybody getting all excited oh my god i'm gonna get more money it's not just that it's wealth of knowledge wealth of discernment wealth of stability wealth of you know whatever wealth you want in there's some people from your past that want to coexist with you you're not interested anymore you're, you're not interested because the energy that they're still on is very low vibrational it would almost be like okay i <clears throat> I know certain things about you and it's like trying to keep you a prisoner. You just going to have to be okay with telling people, Hey, 
whatever I'm not going to be a prisoner to my thoughts. You know, something in your past is a part of the past. You've already made peace with whatever and you're moving forward, right? Here we have the page of wands. Sources send in some new inspiration to move on from some energies because somebody keeps replaying something over and over and over again in your mind as it relates to two types of energies, right? And the types of energies are basically very threatening. I'm going to tell this. People don't know that about you. This kind of thing. I see somebody moving on from those types of energy. So it can be 50, 60 people. Doesn't really matter. But I, I see you picking up your swords, these swords of power, power and intellect. You know, you may have felt like you made poor decisions in the past. But guess what? I forgive myself. I forgive anybody who's trying to use my past against me. But I'm moving on from all of that. I'm moving on from it. Right? So I have King of Wands. Somebody is definitely watching you. Definitely watching you. A lot of people are being watched right now because people are starting to understand, hey, you're not trying to just coexist with just any old thing. Here we have the, the high priestess. You're trying to better yourselves, Pisces. You're trying to evolve. And people who have this predatory energy, they're more, they are more threatened if you got away. Like if you think about like if you've ever watched the nature channels, right? <clears throat> and uh, you see this lion or this animal trying to track down. Like I, I saw um, recently this lion and this zebra. This zebra got away, right? You think that lion is not sitting there? Like I, that's the one. That's the main one I want. That zebra. I want to get that one right there. That one got away. So now this becomes. This becomes even more of a target. So there's some energies that feel like to some degree, you know, you couldn't be threatened. You couldn't be coerced. You couldn't be. So I got to I got to go back and I got to make sure my aim is on Pisces. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising or Venus. The moon uh, moving into Aries. Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is Mars is the planet of assertion and action. It's the planet of competition. It's the planet planet of sexual drive, anger, courage, daring, strength, capacity for action, fighting spirit, energy, vitality, conflict. So you're dealing with some people who have a lot of conflict in their spirit. And for you, Pisces, you're going to have to be just that determined to stay away from them because otherwise. They're saying, okay, they got away. So let me play the old bait and switch for a minute. Let me get Pisces confused in their mind. So that looks like an ex trying to, because we're talking about this moon card, an ex coming back from your past. I wonder if people know, I mean, you know, I never told people that they, you know, this X, Y, and Z about you. That's their way of trying to scare you back into something. Or family members, oh, I wonder if people knew this about you because you come across as such and such. And I wonder if people knew this about you, what they would say. Source is saying to you, you're focusing on your legacy moving forward. Your comeback and your mind can always be, listen, everybody has a past. And if you're trying to use my past against me, then how is that going to feel when source um, exposes your past? Somebody knows something about you. So if that's what you, if that's the frequency you're on, it, I did the right thing by cutting you off. I did the right thing by cutting you off. If that's still the frequency that you're on, you feel like you got to coerce people and use things against people, then I made the right decision by cutting you off. So here we have the magician card, the three of wands, the six of swords, the two of wands, the death card, and the page of pentacles. Source is sending more money across your path, but the reason why source is sending across your path to make you financially independent is so you can do this, get as far away from them as possible. Here we have the two of wands, because again, if you're still dealing with energies, when source is saying, take a leap of faith and move forward, I'm going to give you, when I tell you that, so, that's, what, well, that's why when I talk about, you know, increasing your prayer life, if you don't know what your purpose is, or if you know what your purpose is, your answers will come in your purpose. That's where the healing is, Right. Because you're working for source directly. You have direct line between you and source. So it's not like I gotta I gotta watch fifty videos to figure out the question. I mean the answer to the question. I gotta I gotta look for all these different signs and I'm not really sure. I had a dream about something last night, but I gotta dash off to work and I don't know what that meant. So it's like I'm sending you all kinds of messages. And through your feelings about things. You got a feeling. Something somebody has a feeling, but source is saying, look. It's two situations that I want you to get away from, two types of situations from. It's a, it's a, it's not just two people, right? It's two types of situation. Here we also have the death card. And like I said, you, something is ending. 
something is ending. I mean, you don't know if it's a physical death, somebody's going to die. It's going to bring everything into focus for people. It's like, okay, I've been wasting my time over here on Pisces and I need to get my affairs in orders. I need to get my mind straight. See, physical death has a way of everything coming to a screeching halt. You know, when people go to funerals and stuff and they're talking about the person who died and it's like, oh, shoot, you know, you know, I'm starting to bring life into more focus. The things that I thought really matter don't really matter as much anymore. That's what's happening right now. Source is saying, here we have the six of swords. So by the time you decide I'm moving on from something, all of a sudden people are going to miss their water because the well is running dry. People should have treated you better when they had access to you, Pisces. So... I do see some loved ones you're moving on from. You're moving on the, the more and more time and space away from them. It's going to feel like a physical death. At first, they're going to look at you like, oh, they harshly judge. Because people want you to coexist with their hurt and their pain. They want you to be just, in, just as much pain and as much hurt and chaos and confusion. But you're on a different frequency. You're on a totally different frequency. And there are people who genuinely love you. But as far as, like I said, as far as certain, certain family members and people that you consider as family, sources sending more money across your path to make sure you're financially independent. So people are paying attention right now how the people that's been closest to you have hurt you, Pisces. And again, it's not always blood relatives. It could be friends. It could be, you know, past, whoever, or family you consider as family. <clears throat> Five of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Here we have the Eight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So however long you need to pull it together to say, okay, God, help me. For real, help me. Because something is coming to an end. Something is coming to an end permanently. Like whether it's a, you know, like I said, you somebody could be physical. Because I see somebody on a boat here. That could mean a plane, modern day time. Somebody could be packing up and saying, I'm moving on. It's only a matter of time. It, somebody is moving on from something. And Source is trying to speed up the process for you. Here we have the Ace of Wands and also the uh, Eight of Wands. Source is saying your third eye is open. You've already asked Source to speed up the process. You know, not really jump ahead. So you're not moving in haste. You're just saying, you know what? There's nothing here for me. I feel burned out in certain spaces. There's just nothing here for me. Whatever here is for wherever you are. And so Source is saying, that's all I was waiting, asking you for. Just to just ask. You're in the light about things right now. So in the light can mean, let's say, for instance, you're relocating. All of a sudden, everything on your feed is showing you that people need to be moving. Whether it's from one city to the next city, one state to the next state, one country to the next. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. Move from one career to the next career. Let's say you're in one industry and sources saying, okay, you see in the state of that industry, you need to move on to the next industry. And sources like doors are swung wide open. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting on other people to catch the message? Like what? So you have a lot of wisdom. This is you on your throne of your emotions. So, um... Like I said, as it relates to love interest, loved ones, we're not just talking about romantic interest, as it relates to loved ones in general, I see you remaining happy, charismatic, and free. Your your um, attitude is really going to determine your altitude. So let's say, for instance, um, here we have the five of swords. When you look back and see how many games people have played just in your life, that's why somebody is moving on. Somebody's just like, well, you know, when I think about it, let me go into that cerebral part of myself. Let me come out of the emotions. That's why I said somebody may have air in their birth chart, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Let me go into that cerebral part. Let me go into the masculine side of myself. Divine masculine means action-oriented. I'm spending so much time overthinking something and burning myself out and trying to figure out why and asking all these questions. When <clears throat> I'm at the top of my emotions, all I need to say, okay, let me increase my prayer life. Let me stop. Get, let me get out of my head and let me open up my mouth and talk to source and start thanking source in advance. That's why I'm putting all my energy. You already determined what's going, what lies ahead. I feel like somebody is saying, you know, I know wherever it is that I'm going, it's going to feel like things have sped up for me because again, I feel like somebody is going to a place where you're already advanced. Like everything that you're going through right now, like, let me get somebody an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say, um, I've heard, uh, I've heard artists like musicians and singers and stuff like that say, you know, the transition from music to film has been easy because they had to some degree act, 
you know, to get the message across on stage. You know, like if it was a sensual song or something like that, they had to be in that act or dress up in that costume or whatever. Or if it was a certain image that they were trying to portray on stage, they were already there, right? So it was just a matter of learning, remem remembering the lyrics. So the transition into acting could be a lot easier for them, right? So what's happening right now with you, Pisces, is helping you to transition. It's going to seem like, oh, this just comes naturally to me. But you're going through training right now. So all this overthinking, you're selling, basically telling source, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave behind all of the unnecessary burnout, the hurt type of energies. I'm moving on to another phase of my life. I'm actually ready. So that moon and the moon in Aries... It, uh, ruled by Mars. That's the tower card. I feel like I'm having a tower moment. That's what it's going to feel like uh, moving when the moon moves from Pisces into Aries. I was overwhelmed to a point I couldn't even articulate my emotions. Now I can articulate. I'm ready to move on. So around the 20th of December, that's when somebody's going to say, you know what? I'm ready. I'm not even waiting until the end of the year to start my increasing my prayer life. I am ready. I'm ready to move on beyond this, This, you know, being around all these hurt, confused people. They don't have clarity of thought, whether it's in your family, you know, industry family, blood relative family, church family, whoever. I, I'm, I crave change. I need change. So, yeah, I do see somebody physically moving. Here we have the Hermit card. Here we have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Star card, the Ace of Wands, and also the Eight of Cups. Somebody has always been a star in their own right. Especially when you feel like you've been left uncovered. You, you you haven't been nurtured and protected and you didn't feel secure in certain spaces around a bunch of hurt people. Imagine this. It's like being around zombies and expecting a zombie to protect you when you're hurting. That could look like people being on drugs. It can be like people on medication. Like everybody's waiting for somebody to stick a, you know, a blowtorch in their back to tell them, hey, you're going in the right direction. You know, or like, like, you know, cattle. Okay, you need to do this and you need to do that. And you're like, okay, I don't want to be around this zombie, this energy anymore. Right? So here we have the four, four and seven of swords. This is your gateway right here. See this 11 right here? Four and seven is 11. Here you see it again, right? So you can say, you know what? It's time for me to get off the fence and get out of my head and open my mouth and increase my prayer life. I need to start speaking into existence. Source, thank you for getting me away from this. Thank you, thank you, thank you for getting... You're going through a rite of passage. That's, what some, that's what's happening right now. Somebody is going through a rite of passage. And you're going through a transition in your life right now. You're moving away from people who have chosen to be in a zombie fire state. That's a choice. You're going through, and so some people are going to be unhappy that you're leaving them behind, but but you're like, I, hey, I have no control over people being unhappy about you moving forward. Because to stay there, it would be an imprison in your mind. It's like your creativity would dry up. If you've ever lived in a part of the world where Your creativity is not uh, uh, celebrated, right? The people like, oh, they seem like they're having more fun in New York, or they feel like they seem like they're having more fun in L.A., or they seem like they're having more fun in Miami. But this town that I'm in, it just doesn't seem like, you know, people don't really support the arts. You know, everybody's just overthinking everything. And if I try to do something that's outside the box, I'm looked at as crazy and weird and strange. Sometimes it feels like that in the office space. I just feel like I'm just working to pay bills, but there's no creativity. They don't celebrate my creativity. Sometimes it feels like that in this, wherever you live, the, the geographical area of the world. I feel like I need to be in other spaces where I feel like I need to be free, like my water needs to be free, like I need to be around a beach or a lake, a stream. I need to be near an ocean. That's what it feels like for somebody. So in your hermit mode, source is telling you that it's time. You sat down and you have reassessed everything from top to bottom. Hermit mode is attached to Virgo. Virgo is a very meticulous, detail-oriented sign. So, sources say to you, your third eye is wide open. It is time for you to, you know, make some adjustments, you know, in your life moving forward. Ace of Wands came out twice. Eight of, um, yeah, came out twice. <clears throat> 
You got the king and queen of wands here. And so source is saying to you, you got, you have, somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulders. There's two types of energies in particular. It could be fire energies where you just don't feel motivated being in a, wherever part of your life is right now. It's like a something, I just don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel like creatively. I don't feel joy anymore. I don't feel creative. It is literally like a person has gone to a death rebirth. That's why energy never dies. So you're saying, okay, if I can't change my environment, I'm going to change my environment, right? I'm going to change my own environment, which requires action. I'm going to take the, the I'm going to take the necessary steps to get away from things that's stifling my growth. I'm going to do that. So here we have the Eight of Cups. You have a lot of gifts and talents, a lot of water, a lot of gifts and talents, and you're saying, you know what? Being the king of cups, I know how to control my water. I need to just, I need to take some kind of action to get away from anything that's trying to stifle my growth. So congratulations. Congratulations, Pisces. Congratulations. And there are going to be some people that feel some kind of way about it. Again, people who feel like they got secrets, they know things about you from your past. You can either let that um, motivate you to move forward to say, you know what? I know I made the best decision for myself. Or you can let that stifle your growth where you feel like, okay, gosh, People know certain things, you know, um, um, you know, I, I, um, I, you can let it, you can let it stifle your growth and you can let it say, okay, source, I made the best decision for me to move on from certain people because it looks like, you know, the energies that are watching you are committed to misunderstanding you. That's just like. You know, keep trying to prove to people that you are motivated, that you're not lazy, that you get easily overwhelmed. Like, it's almost like you got to teach a class in Pisces. <laughs> and I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart. I got to tell people that I'm the last sign in the zodiac and I absorb, you know, information easily. And that, you know, my symbol are two fish tied together, swimming in opposite direction. Like, you got to teach people who show you zero compassion. You, you know, you got to, with every person you come across, you got to tell everybody the same thing. That's draining and exhausting. It, it's draining and exhausting. You all are a, um, a, a, uh, a water sign. You're a mutable sign. You're very receptive. You're highly intuitive and emotional. You're imaginative. You're very romantic. You're impressionable. You're mystical. You're highly adaptable. You know, you're a very changeable creature. Your symbol are two fish tied together. And to keep trying to, you know, put overthinking something to a point of exhaustion. And again, I'm talking to you if you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It can literally cause you to, you know, be susceptible to alcohol and drug abuse, for real. To be around those types of energy. I gotta, it's like you gotta walk around with a description of a Pisces on your chest. Like, who's doing all of that? When some, when being in certain spaces, well, just like I said, you being around water, that's why I see the depth of this water right here. I see somebody going across, you know, some water. You know what? It's been an uphill climbing battle. I've been trying to stick around, trying to, <clears throat> not anymore. This right here, water. This right here, water. See this water right here? This person is looking over this boat right here. Expansion, water. That's what I'm saying. Like, source is cooking up something really nice for somebody just to get away from. And being around a lot of water means that you're being around creativity, right? So when we think of the ocean, we think about salt water, right? So that salt water kills the, you know, all kinds of stuff. Like, kills the, the you, know, you pour salt on something, right? It's, it's killing the, the certain things, right? So you're just saying, I, I need to be around some fresh water. I need to be around some fresh creativity. I need to be in a different space because, you know, I, I feel burned out and stressed out. Here we have the strength card, the queen of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the three of cups, the two of cups, and also the ten of swords. I feel like somebody that you love has made that decision themselves. And that may be the thing that you needed to kind of sort of give you the nudge that you need. That if they can do it, so can I. This is the Ten of Swords here, right? And then also the Three of Cups. Somebody's going not, somebody's not looking back. Eight and, uh, eight, and, um, eight and three is 11. Somebody is like, emotionally, I need to get off the fence and I need to take a leap of faith into my purpose. I need to stay focused. Two of Cups, a soulmate is going to help you do it. And then we also have the Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, everything is lining up perfectly for you. Everything is lining up perfectly for you so you can step through that. All somebody has to do is turn off the emotional valve. 
I have no attachments to anything that I'm leaving behind. I have come to terms that I need to toss some things into a burner. I need to take the action. Instead of me living in my head, I need to take the action to get up. I need to write some things on a sheet of paper because that's in my mind. That's your air. That's floating around in my mind, your universe. That's negative. I need to toss it into a burning bowl. Because I'm in spaces right now where energies are causing me to be reactive. And I don't want to come across as a person who can't control my emotions. But I'm in spaces where it's causing me to be reactive. At this stage in my life, I don't want to be reactive. I'm a divine feminine son. I need time to process things. And I'm not putting my energy into that that fighting spirit anymore. That competitive energy. That I'm not doing all of that. That anger and frustration. Here we have the Queen of Pentacles. And I do see your reputation still being intact. People still hold you in high regard. Now, just because people are trying to get you to be reactive and trying to pull you down off of your throne, that's not the headspace that you're in, Pisces. You're in a totally different headspace. So if that means you got to change geographical locations and people think you're running away from your problems, you're going to have to be okay with letting whoever think whatever. Because, again, your most likable trait is your compassion. Will these people who are trying to uh, uh, say that you're running away from problems say that you're a compassionate person? They're not going to tell anybody that, but they know that you are because you're the most compassionate sign. So you don't have anything to prove to anybody at all. Nobody on this planet. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Like I said, when I, when I, before I lay the cards down, I already pray over your cards. I already asked source about every aspect of your life, your love life, your money. That's why I say I see somebody, I see somebody in a leadership position and your money actually increase. And that could be a raise for somebody. I'm telling you, people hold you in very high regard. So, but to stay in a job, for instance, that is causing you to be very reactive where you don't even have time to process your breakfast that you had, or you didn't have process time to process a death of a loved one or process your childhood. And we're talking about obviously within reason where people are just trying to get you to be reactive because they're in a zombie fire state and people are sticking blow, you know, blow torches in their back, trying to get them to rush and make a decision about some things, causing them to drink and drug and do all of this other stuff. You're like, I'm not interested in that. If you're not giving me a chance to create, you're a very creative water signs are that water. You create right in that sacral chakra. I need time to create. You're not going to rush me to create something. I'm sensitive. I'm, I pour into what I'm creating. You're not going to, you're not going to rush me into creating anything. And if I feel rushed, then it's not the job for me. It's not the geographical location for me. This is not the relationship for me, whatever. I'm not doing that. I like to put out quality stuff. You're not going to rush me. And so there's definitely going to be some, like I said, people want to coexist with you because they know what you bring to the table. But at the same time, people, just like I said before, will try to tell you, oh, I know certain things about your past. Okay, well, if, if that's what makes you feel better about yourself, then go ahead. Because I guarantee you, karma, we're going to come back and hit them the same way. So... But that's what that's what I have for you uh, so far. Let me give you the questions for the moon and Aries for those of you all who may be still struggling a little bit with taking some action to move forward. First question is, are you struggling with low self-worth? The second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feeling consequently, you're feeling resentful? Fourth question is, are you holding yourself back, paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking a leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you've known that you were fully supported, what would you do? So maybe leading up to this full moon, somebody feels a little stronger, right? But remember moving from phase to phase to phase within the cycle there's a real pull with fear, doubt, uncertainty to pull you back into confusion. Right before you're about to leave that job or that geographical location, what if I'm acting in haste? What if I'm moving? I'm afraid of what lies ahead. That's what Source is saying. Tap into your spiritual gifts. You already know what lies ahead. You've already been left vulnerable, uncovered, and protected by energies that you thought were going to protect you. You already know you were in Zombieville, you know, around a bunch of energies that, like I said, that was probably on drugs or alcoholed up or whatever the situation may be you they couldn't protect you and keep you protected or, or they were dealing with some kind of abuse or something they were going through so to rely on those types of energies and you know that some of those energies would try to pull you out based on what secrets they know about you pisces again source will turn up the heat in a very motivational way 
the world will turn up the heat in a way to cause you to be fearful, you know, scared, nervous. You're not going to, you know, that kind of thing. So source is saying, keep on moving forward. Keep on increasing your prayer life. However many times you need to go to source and say, okay, source, I just need a little bit more that's going to, you know, help me to make some decisions to move beyond all of this. Like, I don't want to operate in fear. I'm operating in total faith. This is like you're just having a conversation with your best friend. Like, what would you say with your best friend? Like, you know, I feel like it's a safe space for me to talk. Just you and source. I feel scared. I feel nervous. I'm trying to operate in faith. Please give me a little bit more where I can move beyond this, this space. And so, cause I, 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 you know, you're in human form, you know, I, to be perfect in you know, your word choice and all of that other stuff. It just, you're, you're adding unnecessary stress to yourself. So let's get your number out. Hopefully those questions have helped somebody so that you don't feel like you're those two fish tied in us, tied together, swimming in the opposite direction. Like I'm just, I'm going, I'm about to go into escapism. Like I don't, I, I feel so stressed out about a decision. I want to be there, but I'm still here. So it's just like, okay, bring it all into focus. Start operating in faith. Something for those of you all who read the Bible or whatever spiritual text you read, maybe, okay, let me dig deeper into that. Let me get your fear, doubt, all of that out of my spirit. I am aligned. <clears throat> you are in possession, Pisces, of incredible creative powers. And it is assured that you can achieve anything that you wish. That's it. So this is where you want to delve deeper into that creativity. Since you're already King of Cups energy right here, you got a wealth of knowledge and wisdom, you know, moving forward. And this is a posture of gratitude. So if all you can muster up, uh, Pisces, during this time of trying to move from one phase of your life to the next and get away from zombie feel, whether it's zombie feel in your family, zombie feel in your job, zombie feel in your state, country, province, uh, you know, continent, whatever, zombie feel for you. Um, it's thanking source in advance. I'm already there, but be clear where there is. I'm already there. This is what it looks like when I'm there. I'm already there. So source, I know you, you got every, you, you getting everything in it and you getting everything prepared for me. So when my physical body arrives there, then everything is, everything is, I'm in the right place for me. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Congratulations in advance. Congratulations in advance, Pisces, because actually you deserve it to get away from, you know, but I feel like, you know, sometimes all it takes is to see a sibling has cut everybody off or an aunt or uncle to move away. You know, sometimes you got to go back in your family memories like, oh, now it makes sense why that aunt or uncle moved away from the rest of the family. Some, yeah, okay, now it's making sense where, you know, uh, some people, you know, left the industry and they went and they went on to do bigger and better things over here. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it needs to tap into something else, you know? So the inspiration doesn't always have to come from the zombies. It can come from the people who left, people who woke up. So here we have growth, affirmations for growth. I am a work in progress, period. I release old habits and create new trails. Each day I am getting better. I'm in charge of the direction of my life. I am not defined by my past. I grow through my struggles, roadblocks, create opportunities because they do. All right, last card and we're going to go ahead and close it out, Pisces. Last card, last card, last card. Yeah. Can be a lot of secrets that people leaving behind and but sometimes it's you know even if you don't get along with a sibling or even if you don't get along with you know like you don't really know that aunt or uncle that moved away maybe you didn't have the best you didn't have a you that wasn't a i can't say you didn't have the best it could have just been that you just don't know them right you may not have grown up with them but now some things in this stage in your life is going to start making sense um yeah some things are going to start making sense. That dream that you thought was deferred. Oh, how come all of these people, you know, got to be bigger, you know, stars than I was. Then you find out years later the sacrifice they had to make. Oh, God, thank you for watching over and protecting me. Okay, now I can reroute. I'm not under some kind of soul contract for the rest of my life. Now I can reroute. So see it as a blessing when you think human's denial is something you like human's rejection is actually God's protection from something. So that's what I'm seeing for you all. Here we have, I am protected. There it is. I am protected. 
You may have been left vulnerable before, Pisces, but I'm telling you, source is saying, I got you protected. Wherever you go, you're going to feel like you light years ahead of something. For real, because of all you've come through, all the hurt, pain, learning how to protect yourself, you're going to feel like you are protected. That's when you're going to really feel the protection of source. It doesn't matter where you're going. If you're going by yourself, I mean, imagine being around a bunch of zombies. You are already by yourself. That's what I have for you. I will see you all on uh, Freedom Friday. Hopefully those questions have helped you, Pisces. I'll see you then. Bye.